Hello everyone, welcome to your third tutorial on Laravel and in this tutorial I'm going to quickly explain something called MVC. MVC stands for Model View Controller, Model View Controller. It's um, it's not a framework, it's a design pattern used for, um, is an approach to design used by many frameworks and uh, by the right here I have lot so I've listed some major frameworks that are using it and uh, once I finish explaining it you start understanding how some other frameworks you might be using uh, applying MVC all right you have rails you have cake PHP you have code igniter you have Laravel which we are currently doing and you have Django you have Zen framework and you have iOS iOS uses iOS took C and um, applied OP to it and uh, used MVC so and made it objective c all right so what is mvc mvc is model view controller all right um when someone is browsing your website for instance and um, let's say you have a web page and uh, what this guy this is a screen of somebody's laptop what this guy sees is view whatever is displayed by the view because in the view you have things like um uh you essentially have your CSS, you have your HTML, you have your, um, well, um, roughly JavaScript, um, like partly JavaScript, okay? So this is what the user sees. Whatever you've done with CSS, HTML, and JavaScript partly, um, that's what your user sees. The design, the animations, everything, that's what your user sees. So, But then there is something called controller. Controller determines what your user sees. This kind of um, controller is uh, communicates with your server. It's the logic behind your 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 view so if you want to generate a spreadsheet your controller determines say is this guy the admin or oops your controller determines is this guy the admin or is he a normal user or is whatever so this is where you have your application logic and stuff like that um where you run a lot of if else statements this is where you run a lot of while loops okay and at the end you pass from the controller you pass it to the view and the view displays it and the next one is the model the model communicates with the database so here the controller basically and, and you know the type of databases you have you have mysql you have mongodb you have um, um, a whole lot of them no sql firebase and a whole lot of them okay and um, what logic what the controller does is um, somebody logs in from the view this guy uses something called routing there is route routing routing is when this guy enters uh, a, a, the url an address on the address bar so somebody visits your site.com your site.com slash um, users slash login so this is routing. So on your site.com, you should go to whatever that is users or whatever folder that is users and access the file that is login. So it's, it's the user that gives this command. So this is routing. This command determines the, the particular controller that we use. These things, all these things are files. So you, you could have for your users, you could have um, a users um, in, in a users folder in some um, object in some mvcs you have a file called um let's say you have the view file we can say users uh, login dot view oh in your controller let's say you have a folder you could have a view folder and inside view you have users login view you have um you have user registration user registration and of course is that um, HTML or dot whatever template you're using some like Laravel uses blade so whatever with, depending on the, the framework you're using um, you have things like this for view then you also have um, controller controllers where you have um, things like uh, exactly the same thing but you now have users uh, controller 
dot uh, php if you're using php if it's javascript or typescript you have typescript but um, laravel uses php and um, you have other ones right underneath it's when you have um, something like um sorry let me rearrange this and now we're here and now we're here all right then this inside this php file you have functions and one of the functions could be fun public function public function um users login then so you have um, i'm just describing some of the approaches some of these guys use or all right so inside your users.php you have a function with the exact name of this view then you have another function again with the exact name of this other view so every view you create inside the users controller function you create a, a view uh, a method for it or a function for it and then you have your model you have a model folder where you have um stuff like a user model user model.php or um, as some frameworks we call it depending on the framework i'm just giving you a general overview a generic the generic approach so you have a, a another file that is called user.php what this file does is it contains your your database logic what it does is uh, if you for instance you have users your users have um, they send messages and um, the messages contain comments or message replies message replies so this is an entity in your database so in your database you have a table called users you have messages you have message replies and then there's a relationship between this one user can have many messages and um, a message can only belong to one user and the message reply message a message can have many message replies and uh, a, a message reply can only belong to one message so this is a relationship it's in your model that you define the database relationships so uh, when you make a call this guy does what this guy basically does is determine or talk to the views and um, determine what will be shown in the or displayed in the view this is where you you pass information to the view and uh, from here you get information from the model the model talks to the controller the controller talks to the views the controller also, also talks to the model so this is how uh, this is just the basic summary of mvc so your files are separated you know in the olden days if you wanted to write a procedural php you just have one file that you may just call some boring name like um you login.php then inside it you dump all your html or your or your php and all your database login you usually have something like db um, connection connection.php where you specify all your database connection and all st stuff like that this is, is useless it's useless so just forget about that pattern and uh, in mvc everything is simple so the advantage the major advantage of mvc is that um, number one you don't repeat yourself there's something called dry in programming it's called don't repeat yourself don't repeat yourself so in in programming uh it makes sure that you don't repeat if there is something you use all the time you can be able a chunk of code you can be able to apply them to different uh templates for instance if we had a very particular logic that we use for logging in and uh, we wanted to apply it across all our views all our sites it's it's easy to ap apply it in just one place and that's one major advantage of um, mvc you don't repeat yourself okay um the other advantage is that it helps to build large applications and the other advantage is that you can always find what you need if you're looking for uh, the function that checks when a user is logged in you know exactly where to get it if you're looking for the function that checks messages you know exactly where, where to get it if you know whether you're looking for something that should be in the view or something that should be in the controller or something that should be in the user and like i told you before in mvc uh, if you're using a framework uh, any new developer can join your team and once they know that framework they understand the code straight up all right so and mvcs most mvcs are, are uh they, they force you to write code in a certain way or you understand so it's easy for someone else to just jump in 
and kind of force you to write a cleaner code all right the complaint what most people have with things like uh, php is that uh, the code is usually scattered and not organized but when you're using a framework